So, this video is going to be a little bit shorter than what you usually see on my channel lately on March Garf. I don't know if that makes sense right now. I, I guess I may, I may be lying even on an accident. Whatever. I'm not talking about, about about something that I think is also drawn to the idea of uh, dopamine spiking. And on, on par with that, things like porn addiction and uh, substance abuse and drugs, alcohol, whatever. Smartphones, internet, dopamine detox, PMO, no fap senior retention. And all the things that you come form from if you know what mediocrity or high-end high, high lifestyle is, if that's even relevant, if we're de determined from that. But even if this is not so much about being grateful or positive or anything like that, what I'm going to talk about today is about something that I think is connected to the idea of being grateful and sincerely actually happy about where you are in life or looking forward to the future or looking to the past for good reasons and not always the bad ones. As that is seen as regrets or whatever, or, or regrets or gratitude, or gra gratitude or regrets. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna give a few odd, odd, oddly specific examples about what I'm talking about when it comes to this extended ideal of, of happiness and philosophy, or whatever. So, a couple times already, the first time around, a, a few, a couple days ago or more, uh, on an afternoon where the, the the sky was a little blue in a really shady, cool way. I was watching some clips from on YouTube from the movie uh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, the Miles Morales one, and I noticed that I, pretty much every person likes this character already. Like not not, not the Miles Morales one, although Miles Morales is pretty cool, and so are some of the other ones, Ham, etc. Noir, but uh, yeah, I uh, for uh, both obvious and not so obvious reasons, the Penny Parker Spider-Man is a pretty attractive character. Like. So, some some of you have, may have seen my Himiko and Namba video on Dr. ABC, and that was a pretty good video. I actually got some good watch time, but it's in the, in the maybe the, maybe the same obvious and not so obvious vein of Himiko and Namba from the ones within. This Penny Parker Spider Man, this anime version of Spider Man, uh, anime girl version, school girl. She's not only good in the terms of aesthetic, and I'm gonna get to the the uh, the no fap and zero touching I, I, I comparison to this in a second, but like. Uh, if even the best way I can. <laughs> uh, but this Penny Parker character is not only good aesthetically, she's even reminding me in a weird way about the the, the innocence of, of in your mind, inner child and the childhood that I may or may not have already had. However, this cont contains and detains my own life story, tragedy, or whatever I call it, or discuss philosophies, whatever I keep calling it. Fundamental, con fundamental context, emotional context, and all that sort of. And then, however, I make that make sense of that, or whatever I'm even saying about that. But... Whenever I look at characters like Penny and the Sunflower from Petrus of Zombies and other examples along that loop, and then even a day later when I'm, I'm watching the clips later uh, of uh, Noir and Ham and some of the other characters from that movie, and especially Penny Parker, and then I instantly remember, remember the uh, Digimon movie. So I, I go from watching Penny Parker clips from Into the Spider-Verse to Digimon, the, the, the very first Digimon movie, uh, the, the I'm Greymon, Greymon versus the Electro Shocker parrot. And then, uh, and then some of the other clips from that movie. And then I go from that to uh, mu music all over again, I guess. So that, 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 that's relevant enough. If, uh, some anime in Vigan's music and other music. So, And I also watch a bit of a... In between those two days, I watch a bit of Psychonauts 2 clips um, at some point. But I'm hoping that's relevant. If I'm not sh shaming it too much relevant to that. But the point I'm trying to get across is... There is some innocence be behind some of the obvious elements of childhood innocence and inner child and childhood however discussed philosophy that I would say for nostalgia and c continuity which I keep saying a lot of the times however misunderstood and confused I think I am or may I already be but when I look at those characters like Penny Parker I'm like okay there is some there is something here that that's both obvious and not so obvious for me like about the ideas of I, I happiness and gratitude and all that and sincere mindfulness, and not even the worst possible way. Not not, not mindfulness in the shallow way, which I, I'll get to in, a, in another video if I can. But uh, and not a uh, gratitude in an awkwardly overrated or overlooked way, which is so, so so important to see that way, in my opinion. But when I think about these kind of innocences in, in childhood and all that, I don't think of it as something I, don't, I can't I can't have anymore. I think of it because I will tell you, like I was gonna make a video about this anyways, but like. I'll tell you that if you asked me a long time ago if I was a kid or an adult, I would tell you that I was technically a kid. So that, I'll tell you that in my preteens, I'm technically a kid. If you asked me in my teenagers if I was a kid or an adult, I would tell you that's irrelevant because I still want to be the most perfect person of all time. 
But if, if that were the case, then maybe I would be an adult by then, in, in the future. So I would tell you it's irrelevant unless I was already a literally an adult. And then now I'll tell you that if I had by preference to, to, you, asked, you asked me this, I, would, I said, at the very foremost, I would be a character in a story. I would be a character, I would, I would be the character Tony Cashman. But if I had to be more specific and deeper than that, I would tell you I'm a young 24-year-old kid and not an old man 24-year-old, you know? Something like that. And that's too oddly specific and depicted in a different way. But I don't, have to, I don't have to see myself as someone... I even have the idea of immaturity and maturity not existing, even if that's supposed to be subjective or objective. But however objective or subjective are discussed philosophies. But, uh, you know, something like that. There's a lot into that I can get into later. If, it's not, if it doesn't make sense right now, I'm sorry. But, you know. But, Penny Parker and these uh, ideas of happinesses and gratitudes. I'm grateful for what I have. I don't know if I have to be, literally be grateful for what I don't think I'm, I feel gratitude for and truly feel grateful and sincerity for. But I am grateful. I practice gratitude. I practice, I practice giving a crap even if I don't actually feel like I care. I care even though I don't feel like I care. And I, I'm grateful even though I don't feel like I'm truly grateful. And I, I, I practice these things no matter what. And I'm I, in a nutshell. That's not supposed to even, supposed to even simple then. Over some fight, over complicated, whatever. But, you know, I, uh, I look into that stuff. I'm like, okay. Uh, if I can be happy about the fact that there's a glimpse of a slime versus the kind of thing I mentioned, Dr. ABC, I'm sorry, you can go to my channel then, if you want to, I'll link it somewhere in the bottom of this video, uh, description or comments, I'll link the main channel, where I talk about a lot about that sometimes, sometimes, slime versus stack, stack being some kind of prejudice thing, not always, but, and st slime being some kind of insightful thing, but again, not always, and then, uh, I do a whole game, but I was gonna do like a, a science communication, communication project with claymation sometimes. Um, a science communication project that was gonna potentially have claymation in it. Shell gel propel versus clarity qualification justice. Clarity qualification justice doesn't have to always be bad, but neither does shell gel propel has to always be good, you know. But uh, so, so there's an insightful approach to that prejudice, I guess. Something like that. Science communication, the idea of like helping people or helping yourself in a way that doesn't have to be done, but it can still make all the difference. That's against it goes against the grain of things like mind your own business or privacy and boundaries and all that, but, you know, unfortunately. But that's still how fortunate I make it. Penny Parker, again, this is just an anime schoolgirl character from the Into the Spider-Verse movie I, I, I'm, I'm making a big point about, and it's like, yeah, I, I, I feel like there's some kind of like a, a semblance. I'm, I'm not going to overcomplicate that, but I'll do it anyway, so that's who I am. I never digress, but <laughs> this is shit. Every time it's for a reason, I, everything's relevant. I, 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 I am... I am uh, I accept myself or something like that. Yeah. Not not trust, but accept or both. But I'm I'm missing some kind of uh, element of things. I don't know how many times I can get they get disgusted or disturbed about being, looking from within when I'm very good at doing that kind of thing. And I could I could certainly be better at it. But even saying the words I can prove or interest still bother me. So, and I'm the person who's infinitely infin infinitely patient, and infin and very very confident. Even though I can still be confident in other areas. But when I look at those kinds of characters from. Well, entertainment, fiction, and uh, mediums for uh, franchises. Okay, something like that. I have to do air, air quotations for that. Oh, but uh, but there's not so much of a happiness I'm missing, whether from the inside or the outside. And it's like I'm a pro materialist for a reason, by the way. I I believe I truly believe that we have objects that can be learned from, even if they're not supposed to be worth it. And that, that's how I see things. But pro materialism. Look it up. It doesn't exist yet. <laughs> I made it up. <laughs> Maybe. N nothing's new. Oh, really? Nothing's new. Okay, then why am I new? Nah, no, sorry. Too deep. Too deep. <laughs> but, uh, uh, no, but just, it, it, this is just a kind, kind of an overcomplication about a character from a Spider-Man movie in 2018 and how I compare and contrast that to controversial philosophical ideas that aren't even technically philosophy. They're just ideas I, I make and the type of finest philosophy. But, you know, that's my take on that so far. <sighs> yeah, Narshkov channel. Um, thank you guys very much. Um, I would cut off right now because I don't want to reach ten minutes and be a uh, match in heaven made thing for this video. Ten minutes approximately of a bank kiss If I want to keep talking for another twenty seconds, this is what I would say. Where's my question for you guys? When have you found something that was that didn't have to be anything where where time because I have a big thing about t time and place not being re relevant or even applicable. I don't believe in time and place, but here's my question for you guys: What would you do with something that's irrelevant, that's still important to you? Okay, bye guys. See you guys.